Now once you have the logo and the script in the same add-on folder, we now go to our completed video. We open up Windows Movie Maker again after we have added the, the script and the logo. We need to open it up anew, afresh. And now we go down to our video that we have just made. This is just some random pics that I chose to put on my watermark for demonstration purposes only. Okay, we go to the first uh, part of our video and we click on that. Then we hop up to where it says make titles or credits. And this is where we're going to find our logo. So we hop up to where it says title on the selected title on the selected clip and then we go down to change the title animation and here this is where we're going to find where it says my logo and there it is so it will be under where it says titles two lines you scroll down and it will have a as at kind of sign my logo it says puts my logo dot gift in bottom right corner that's what we want click on that and then we have to go down to where it says edit the title text this is a very important step to make this work we click on that and then to make this work we just need to put in one space so hit one space on the space bar and then we're done Ta da it should be there and we go down to the bottom where it says title overlay and there it is and now once we have the completed video we will stretch it the entire length and now we will hop up here and watch the couple of pictures that I put my logo on. That's why it's very important to have it in a dot GIF, GIF, G -I -F, format as it is transparent. GIF, I think it's pronounced. And there we have it, my logo, transparent on a few random pics. I hope you enjoyed this.